We've already learned that kinetic energy is the energy of motion. If an object has mass and velocity, then it has kinetic energy. Knowing that, we're now going to learn how to calculate this kinetic energy. The equation we're going to use is kinetic energy, or EK, equals one-half mv squared, where m is the mass of the object, and that's in kilograms, and v is the velocity, or speed of the object, and that's in meters per second. The resulting calculated kinetic energy will be in joules. Let's do an example. If a 2,000 kilogram car is driving at 10 meters per second down the road, what is the kinetic energy of this car? So, we first write down our equation. Don't just start plugging in numbers. The first step in your solution is to show which equation you're going to use. So in this case, EK equals one-half mv squared. Next step, we rewrite the equation with brackets in place of the variables m and v. Then, we can plug in our numbers. The mass is 2,000 kilograms, and the velocity is 10 meters per second, and then we calculate. The resulting kinetic energy, in this case, is 100,000 joules. That's a lot of joules. So you see, if we're dealing with large objects at large speeds, it'll involve a lot of kinetic energy. Another example. A 0 0.5 kilogram pendulum is swinging and going 2 meters per second at the bottom of its swing. What is its kinetic energy at this point? First, we write down the equation we intend to use. EK equals 1 half mv squared. We replace the m and the v with brackets and then we put in our values, the mass is 0.5 kilograms, the velocity is 2 meters per second, and we're ready to calculate. And we find that EK equals 1. We confirm that our units are standard units, kilogram for mass, yep, and meters per second for velocity, yep. So we know that our answer must be in joules. Perfect. The pendulum has a kinetic energy of one joule at the bottom of its swing. One more example. How about a thrown baseball? Our example. What is the kinetic energy of a 150 gram baseball that is thrown at 10 meters per second? First, let's write down the equation we intend to use. EK equals one half mv squared. We replace the variables m and v with brackets and then we put in our values. But wait a moment. We can't put the 150 in there. We remember that the standard unit for mass is kilograms, and this is in grams. We have to remember to convert this to kilograms because we want our answer in joules. So we remember that there are 1,000 grams in every kilogram, so we just move the decimal place over three times, and we get 0 0.15 kilograms. Now we can put it into the equation. The velocity is already in meters per second, so we can just plug that straight in, and we're ready for calculating. So the kinetic energy of the baseball is 7.5 joules. In this tutorial, we reminded ourselves that kinetic energy is the energy of motion. We went further and found that we could calculate the actual energy of an object as long as we know the mass and the velocity of that object. The equation we use is EK equals one half mv squared. So if we're ever asked to calculate the kinetic energy of an object, we do it in four steps. First, we write down the equation being used. EK equals one-half mv squared. No plugging in numbers yet. Second, we write the equation again, but this time replace the variables m and v with brackets. Third, 
we put the appropriate numbers into those brackets ensuring that the values are in standard units. And finally, we calculate the answer. Make sure you include your units with the answer. In this case, it's joules.